A drug resistant bacterium can break down used in the medicine of plastics. Scientists have found that it often causes infections intrahospital bacterium can break down used in medical procedures plastic from which stents are made or various implants, which it potentially makes it even more dangerous. The blue oil stick, because it is mentioned, it can develop in sterile environments, using plastics to grow. The blue oil stick, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, is a pathogen that can cause in people with reduced immunity. Dangerous diseases such as sepsis, acute pneumonia, or wound infections, bones, joints, urinary, ocular and meningitis the cerebral core. These bacteria often cause intrahospital infections. Blue oil stick is widespread in the environment. It is in soil, water reservoirs, or rivers. It has a diverse mechanisms that build its drug resistance. Some of its strains are resistant to the action of most antibiotics, therefore the treatment of infections with an oil stick the blue is extremely difficult. In recent work, scientists analyzed the strain isolated in the hospital from the patient's wound and it turned out that it produces an enzyme, it breaks down plastics used in medicine. From such a material stents, seams, various implants and other devices are manufactured, for example it's medical. Blue oil stick can use this type of plastic as carbon source for growth. Research on the blue oil stick has appeared in the pages the magazine Cell reports. In a new study, researchers identified an enzyme called PAP1, which was produced by a blue oil batten. This enzyme can distribute polycaprolactone PCL. It is a biodegradable plastic that will make it that in the human body it is slowly decomposed. This process can acceleration, found many medical applications. It is made from it, among others. Observable surgical threads, catheters, respirators, implants and plastic packaging for medical tools. Many bacteria produce enzymes that break down plastic, but they were all isolated from the environment. PAP1 was discovered in the facility medical, where there are sterile conditions, or at least, they should be. This discovery may explain why these bacteria are so persistent in hospitals. If they are able to spread out plastic, they can contaminate the surfaces and tools that have been considered sterile. We need to reconsider how pathogens pretend pat get in a hospital environment, said Ronan McCarthy of Brunel. University of London, lead author of the study. Plastics can it is potentially food for these bacteria. Pathogens with this ability they can survive longer in the hospital environment. This means that every equipment medical or treatment with plastic containing equipment may be susceptible for degradation by bacteria, he added. It is currently unclear how the oil batten capacity blue for feeding plastic affects infections in hospitals where after all, there are restrictive cleaning protocols, precisely in order to avoid exposing patients and medical instruments to bacteria. Multiple blue oil melt peel peel extraction resistance to a wide range of antibiotics. These resistant microbes can contaminate various hospital devices, which makes Pseudomonas aeruginosa frequent cause of hospital acquired infections, especially among susceptible patients of reduced immunity. This bacteria causes more than half a million deaths per year the whole world. However, the way it develops in seemingly sterile hospital environments remain unclear. In their work, scientists took a swab from the patient's wound and they analyzed it, which showed that the bacterium can produce an enzyme called PAP1. They then checked whether this enzyme was actually responsible for the breakdown of its plastic. 
introduced the gene encoding PAP1 to Escherichia coli and it turned out that the bacterium began to produce an enzyme that breaks down PCL. When is heated they removed the gene encoding the enzyme in a blue oil stick, the one was no longer able to to decompose the plastic. Researchers also found that the enzyme increases the amount of biofilm, what bacteria can produce, which may play a role in developing resistance. Biofilms are the dominant way to grow bacteria, and adopt this way growth can make pathogens particularly resistant to treatment. He admitted the team in the article. Scientists zoom under the ability to degrade plastic it helps bacteria to survive. If they can form small cavities in plastics, they have a chance to use them as niches that protect them from the system immune, disinfectants or antibiotics. This creates several clinical challenges with respect to the infection. PCL is widely used in medical care and is one of the materials at the forefront of biotechnology innovations due to a favorable biocompatibility profile. From the perspective of the host, the ability pathogen to violate the structural integrity of any device medical or PCL containing implants are likely to cause failure of medical intervention, the researchers explained in the paper. The team is currently developing tests to see if others pathogens can produce plastic degrading enzymes. Scientists want to also check if the addition of antibacterial agents to PCL will reduce ability blue oil sticks to decompose plastic, and if so, will it translate this as the number of intra-hospital infections. Plastic is everywhere in modern medicine and shows some pathogens have adapted to its degradation. We have to acknowledge the impact this has on patient safety, McCarthy said.